Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today is tyre day. I've got the Mitchell Anarchy Wild tyres arrived yesterday. Um, I've got to make quite a quick intro video this morning because I am running late. Um, I should be at the garage in about 10 minutes time and it's about a 20 minute ride away. So I've just called, let them know I'm going to be a little bit late, but I am in a rush today. So these tyres are going to replace the uh, standard Avon tyres on the KTM. Um, it's a 50-50 tyre. Um, I'm hoping it just gives me a little bit more stability when it comes to green laning and some light off-roading. I did have a bit of a wobble and almost ended up in a ditch, as you can see in my last couple of videos I've talked about. So I hope these mixes just give me a little bit more control um, on looser terrain, muds and bits and bobs like that. Um, if anybody's used the Mitchell Anarchy Wild tyres before, give me a shout, let me know how you've got on with them. I did want to do a, a bit of a green laning session after these tyres are fitted today, however, it is absolutely chucking it down outside, so it's going to be pretty grim even just riding over to the garage to get these fitted this morning. But we'll see how we go, and um, if it clears up a little bit later, I'll try and find some lanes. If not, I will do um, a slightly separate uh, ride and attach it to this edit so then it's like a fully co uh, comprehensive tyre review so um, I've got to shoot let's get packed up let's get these tyres on the back of the bike and we will crack on I'll see you in a bit okay so I'm running a little late as I mentioned before so I've done a bit of a bodge job securing these tyres I hadn't actually given any real thought in regards to how they were going to go on I just assumed that that 21 inch would fit over the top box and it does but the 18 doesn't so I've slipped the 21 under the top box which has kind of fixed it and wedged the one on top so I mean that's pretty solid that's not going anywhere and I've just strapped that down on that side just to make sure it should be okay like I say it's 20 minutes away and it's just on nice paved roads so I think that's abso absolutely fine we'll just make sure though okay I think that's fine right let's go let's get cracking Not sure about where everybody else is located, but I called this chap. I'll make sure I get his details of his garage and I'll put it in the link for anybody in Manchester. But I called this guy yesterday, yesterday morning, and he pretty much said he could fit me in the same day as well to change the bike tyres. And it's a bit of a pain actually because I rung a few places and nowhere, you know, everyone said, Oh, you're best off ordering your own tyres and then we're happy to fit them. So I ended up ordering these tyres off Demon Tweaks for I think, £250 and I think it was around £6 delivery. Um, and then the chap straight away said, oh, he's a Michelin dealer and uh, he would have been able to them cheaper. So, a bit of a pain, that. Here you go, Mudge, right? Okay, so 
two new Michelin Anarchy Wild tyres fitted. Uh, the guy in the shop said, careful, it's wet. It's about 50 miles in the road, uh, sorry, 50 miles in the dry. Um, for these to sort of wear in a little bit, so be careful, particularly in the wet. But, really happy with that. I'll put the link of the mechanics garage in the description of the video but it charged me 50 quid fantastic guy got me in literally the very next day highly recommend anybody in the Manchester area needs a tire changer and MOT absolutely see that guy fantastic garage so right let's take these back head back to um, Manchester I don't think I'm gonna be able right away to go and test these out it's just too wet it's too late in the day it's about 2 p.m. now so I will save that for uh, another day and attach it to this video just to give you a bit of a first impressions of the tires but I'll have a ride about uh, back now and just give you uh, some general first impressions on on how it handles and corners etc okay so I'm picking the video up a couple of days later have you saw at the beginning of this episode I've got the Michelin Anarchy Wild tyres fitted to the bike and I've not had a chance to get back on the KTM uh, because I was in Greece last week um, filming the like a mini series on a uh, adventure bike the Honda CB500X if you haven't seen it go check it out it is really good um, and please support the channel please like and subscribe when you can really appreciate it um, so today, what I'm trying to do is just put the Anarchy Wild tyres through a little, a little bit of a test to be honest. It is a very cold day in October and the weather is definitely starting to drop now and we're probably approaching the last couple of days where we can comfortably ride. So I thought I'd take the opportunity whilst it's nice and sunny today. Um, so I'm heading over to um, Rivington Pike, which is a, a nice um, scenic viewpoint in Bolton, or near Bolton. And um, I'm using Kalimoto, in case anybody's noticed. Um, lots of you reached out and said use Kalimoto. In Wales, I was having a real issue with Riva. Uh, seemed like a pretty, pretty um, bad app, if I'm honest. Kept dropping out, kept freezing, losing signal, etc. It was just a bit clunky, it just felt a bit primitive. Everyone pointed me in the direction of Kalimoto, so I've downloaded it and we're using it. So we see how we'll get on. Let's just beat this car up. And it is literally, I downloaded it five minutes ago and it's the first time I've ever used it. So I've put Rivington Pike into it and I've started the 14 day free trial with Kalimoto. So we'll see how we get on. Um, it's saying we're about 19 miles away, which should be so about half an hour, 40 minute ride there. So hopefully what I'm gonna be able to do, because I live in central Manchester, as most of you know, it's really, really awkward getting out of town and getting somewhere a bit less populated. I'm just gonna shut my visor so you guys can hear me a little bit better. So, aim of the game today, test out the tyres, see what they're like. I've never really been here before, I am new to Manchester. Um, please, actually, that's really reminded me, I did want to ask this question before I even started this video. If anyone's based in the northwest, around the Greater Manchester area, but doesn't necessarily mean, need to be like right banging uh, Greater Manchester, can you please reach out and let me know if there's any go-to spots for just a little bit of light green laning. I'm not talking about anything major, anything heavy duty. I'm also not talking about any like, like paid enduro tracks. Just, you know, little routes, um, little nice green laning spots. Um, because living in central Manchester and wanting to go out and ride and, and mix up the terrain a little bit, I am really struggling to find anywhere. Um, so please reach out, please drop a comment, let me know if you know of anything around the area, it'd be really, really handy. Um, but I'm heading to Rivington Pike today, uh, I'll see what sort, if there are any opportunities to do a bit of green laning, 
Uh, it has been raining the last couple of days, um, so I don't want another incident of what happened on the drive back to Wales where I almost binned it in a ditch. So like I say, I am a complete beginner. I am not an expert at all. Um, so yeah, any advice, any route guidance would really, really help. Thanks guys, really appreciate it. Quite windy today. But it's nice getting out of town. Tell you what, that was a real, uh, that was a real crummy drive up there. Very busy today on a Sunday. Everyone's out doing their thing. But yeah, the purpose of today, like I say, I want to give you a bit of an idea of what the uh, Michelin Anarchy Wild tyres are like. Like I say, I'm I'm a complete beginner here, so I, I can literally just. I can't tell you the ins and outs of performance and I, I can't unfortunately go and show you some like massive off-roading capability. Um, if I can find some green laning today I absolutely will, if not um, I'll feed off your comments uh, on the video and try and find some tracks um, to put them through their paces a little bit more. Um, but I can certainly give you a road biased opinion uh, as of now and I think they're great. I mean. The only difference I can really tell between um, oh, the, I forgot what the name, I think they were just standard Avon uh, KTM tyres, uh, just road biased, well, all completely road based tyres. Um, and I can't tell if it was because they were so heavily worn and they, they'd flattened off in the middle. But I think this thing turns on an absolute dime now, it, like a, t a tiny bit of um, lean or a bit of weight distribution and the bike wants to go left and right it's very responsive which I think is great I'm not getting any vibration I'm not getting any you know anything that you'd maybe expect from more sort of knobbly based tires um, they feel they feel great they really do they feel really good so um, super happy with them one of my dream cars at Porsche 911 it's a Carrera 4S stunning cars then further out trips like Greece and the whale trip you know this is what I want to be doing this is what I want on my doorstep Great views, see for miles, can see all the way back where I've ridden Manchester behind me. Um, but yeah, these are the types of places I want on my doorstep. As I get getting older, I'm 34 now, I'm just, I'm over the cities. Um, you know, I love London, don't get me wrong, and, and I would still live in London, but Manchester City, nah way more cons and pros I think and all the pros that I used to enjoy as I'm getting a bit older I don't really uh, share the same value to those pros anymore I'd much rather be out doing this and hung over been in some club last night not my thing anymore my initial impressions from Cali Moto I think it's brilliant I still need to figure out um, the route it takes you on, Riva, you could you could ask it to take me on the most direct route or twisties or whatever it is. Um, that's where this one's just gone straight to navigation and it's taken me anywhere bar motorways, which is what I want. Um, I can always use Google Maps if I want to have a direct route. It's taking me a lot longer to, to sort of get here. Uh, I think it should only take me about 25 minutes, half an hour. Uh, on the motorway and even though it said it was going to be about 35 minutes I think I'm well into an hour of riding now so uh, not the most accurate time estimation but the route's been good it's kept me uh, off those boring roads for sure but yeah it's so nice having the KTM back I love this bike I absolutely love it there's quite a bit of work that I want to do to it but what I'm going to do is look to do all that type of stuff 
when it's off season and it's cold. I do ride all year, I always have, even when I have my Triumph. I don't like to not ride the bikes, but there are really some, some weeks, if not months in the UK that you just can't. Um, it is starting to get pretty chilly now, not gonna lie. And if I'm honest, I'm really disappointed with these Alpine Dry Star gloves. I tend not to, I've not actually worn them since, really since I drove up in December from London. And it was the most horrendous journey I think I've ever had. Um, it was, it was minus one when I left, there was snow on the ground, I just had to get the bike up to Manchester when I was moving, that's the only day I could have done it, so I just had to, to brace it. But these gloves were awful, um, these dry star gloves, they were crap. And um, it's not even that cold today, it's 12 degrees and my hands are cold in them, they're not good. So. I have some leather Revit ones that are a little bit better, but they're more of a mid-season glove as well. Um, but I'll have some good content coming up for you in the next couple of weeks. Uh, a company's reached out to me and offered me a pair of heated gloves. Um, if I'm to do a bit of a review, like an honest review. If they're not good, I'll say it. I'm not gonna plug people's stuff and um, say it's great when it's not, just because they, they're sending it over. I'll always be honest, even at the detriment of working with other companies in the future. Otherwise, what's the point? What's the point? So uh, I should get some heated gloves in the next couple of weeks, which is really handy as well, because um, I was gonna buy some anyway, and they're pretty expensive. Um, so more on that in a couple of weeks time. I do fancy a coffee as well at some point and I got an absolute bashing from one gentleman in the comments you know who you are also just gone the wrong way um, about going to Starbucks I didn't realise that wasn't cool that wasn't the thing to do I don't know if it's just him or if he's been wronged by Starbucks or Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on? There's a green light. There's a green light. And everyone's turning around. I guess I might do it as well. Me and you, mate. To be fair, I don't want to be a sheep, but I wasn't meant to be coming this way anyway. I have gone the wrong way. Yeah, anyway. So to that gentleman, who wasn't a fan of my Starbucks trip, I will try my best for you to try and find an independent hipster coffee shop. But I am in Bolton, so I wouldn't hold your breath, but we'll see what we can do. Like I say, I've never been here before, so I'm trying to figure out where this is taking me. But if anybody's watching from the northwest, Greater Manchester, Bolton, Cheshire, wherever, please reach out. Drop me a message. You can find me on Instagram, um, Freedom Machines as well. Please reach out. Drop me a drop me a message. I'd love to uh, meet some riders up here. Go out with you all. Like I say I am new to the north. Don't know anyone out here. No riders or anything like that. So it would be great to catch up with some of you. There's obviously a lot of people up here. So hit me up. Drop me a comment. I try to get back to absolutely everybody that's kind enough to leave me a comment. Honestly, it's been so good, all the support on the channel, all the nice comments uh, and support. Well, I have a motorbike, so I'm going to push in because I'm rude and have no respect.
nice view. Oh, it's chaos. It is chaos. What are we doing, people? What are we doing? Who's right of way? Nobody knows. Well, it's ours, isn't it? Because their road blocked. I don't know if I can come up here, but I'm going to do it anyway. Seen any signs? Um, can I come through here? Let's have a look. Am I allowed? I can't see why not. Doesn't say no, does it? Doesn't say I can't. Why not? Okay, so I found a little track, something nice and easy, dead safe to just try these tyres out. So there we go. So, my final thoughts of the day. Um, I really like the tyres. I think they're great. I'm really happy. I've made the upgrade and um, I think it was well worth the money. I think it opens a lot of doors for me moving forward. I want to do my training. Uh, I want to go off-roading around Europe, um, do some proper off-roading, some, some touring, some green laning. I think for me, uh, a true 50-50 tyre here just opens up so many doors for this bike. And I think the tyres suit what the bike's been designed for. Um, unlike in Greece, the Honda CB, 500x it's, it's a cheap tourer it was a great bike highly recommend it for anybody that just wants to do the touring this is a much more sophisticated machine and i think without these tires it's just a one-dimensional bike i might as well get something like the honda with these tires obviously with proper training and all the stuff that i need to become a competent rider and not put myself in danger it just adds a lot, it opens just an awful lot more doors for me. So um, I'm really happy. Um, if I give you a bit of a look of the actual tires themselves, as you can see on the bike, there's a decent bit of tread there that should be able to tackle a lot of road surfaces, whether it's sand and mud, etc. etc. As you can see, I've barely broken them in yet. And um, probably only done 30 miles. So again, just taking it really easy today. Um, taking it really easy. I, I, I don't want to put myself at risk. It'd be foolish to go and try and show off in front of the cameras. I, I am a beginner rider. I'm not ashamed of it. Um, I don't want to go flying down here for YouTube, bin the bike, break an arm, whatever it is. Uh, it's just not worth it. So my overall thoughts of the the tyres personally from from my perspective and my experience um i don't feel like the road um sort of the the road handling has been compromised in any shape or form 
I can still keep up with all the traffic on the motorway. I'm not getting vibrations. Uh, it gives me all the traction that I need on different road surfaces. Don't get me wrong, 95% of the time, I am going to be just using this on the, on the road. I, I do understand that. Um, but I just didn't want to get the Anarchy Adventure tyre. I just didn't think it was maybe... I don't know. It, it, it was too road focused. If, if I do, for instance, go down to Wales and want to do some adventure bike training, I think it will just be flying in the mud. I, I just don't think you'll be able to get it out of any type of mud. I just don't think they've got a deep enough tread. But again, that's just my experience. I'm a complete beginner. So um, it'd be interesting to know your thoughts, what everybody else is putting on their adventure bikes, uh, what tires and for what reason. Um, so yeah, so that's it for today. I just wanted to give you a real um, beginner's take on it, a real sort of honest review. Um, I am just trying to document everything I do to this bike and my, my journey um, throughout the next couple of years. I am trying to get a video out every single week. Um, so please like and su subscribe and just support the channel. Anything, even just a comment, anything like that really sort of helps me. Particularly a lot of the feedback I do take on board. Um, a lot of you have given me some really good tips uh, when I've asked for them. And, and yeah, I, I do actually take them on board and I do sort of action on them. So yeah, I, I really like the community that we're creating on the page. Um, and yeah, all your support and, and sort of comments mean the world to me. So um, I'm going to head back before it gets too dark. Um, I've not had any lunch yet and I'm absolutely starving as well. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it, even though it's just a real basic, simple episode today. Um, and I will catch you on the next one.